Hey, this is Andrew Lim, inviting you to go out on a limb. So we are continuing our journey to Yerevan, the capital of Armenia this week. And we continue to check out the beautiful sites and route or en route, depending on where you're from. So before we start, kindly hit the subscribe button and the notify button for new content that I upload weekly. Thank you. So our first stop is the beautiful Hang Park Monastery. So it's a UNESCO World Heritage Site since 1996 and uh, the monastery sure has a fascinating history. The oldest church that you can find in the complex is the Cathedral of Sub Stan. Uh, the end could be silent. Um, was actually built in 977, uh, the year of 977, by Queen Khosrovanush. So during the period of Armenian prosperity, upon walking in here, you see a square, uh, which is what you know. Usually, people think that you know they are just big tiles. I thought that too, but they are actually uh, flat gravestones. So literally, uh, the church was actually lined with graves, you know, at the entrance. It's a traditional Armenian practice uh, to actually line graves, I guess, at the entrance of a cathedral, uh, which people have to step on to enter. And I actually find that, you know, a tad disrespectful. So the cathedral here is a typical example of a 10th century Armenian architecture uh, with a central dome that, you know, rests on the four imposing pillars uh, of the lateral wall. So the outside walls are dotted with triangular recesses as well. So Hakpat Monastery complex consists of the main church, uh, two gavits, the three small churches, a refectory, a book depository, which an amazing collection of books, uh, which was unfortunately closed uh, when I was actually here, a bell tower, as well as several tomb chapels and cross stones. So a view of the bell tower and the church uh, is in a picturesque uh, hilly setting uh, on a sunny day uh, is definitely worth the experience. There was a room uh, where wine was made in a traditional method, fermenting uh, the wine in holes on the ground, and these holes had to be cleaned every now and then. Why, why do human beings, why do people, when they see a hole, they have to put coins in it? Put coins are like, what? They see a hole, they put coins. And then I pull you out. Oh, really? <laughs> and then I pull you out. So that's how they do, they clean the, the wine cellars, historically. Yes. So my driver had no problem stepping on the flat gravestones, but not me. I walk along the edge like a tightrope act at a circus. I didn't really want these spirits to come strangle me in my sleep. <laughs> So the monastery has been damaged many times, you know, sometime around 11.30, an earthquake destroyed parts of Hakpat Monastery and it was not restored until about 50 years later. So it also suffered numerous attacks by armed forces in the many centuries of its existence and from a major earthquake uh, you know, as late as 1988. So nevertheless, uh, much of the complex is still intact and stands today without substantial alterations. Uh, which is amazing. So it's definitely uh, a must-see when you're here in Armenia. Now off to our next monastery. There's actually quite a few in Armenia. So the monastery of Jackgard, uh, which contains a number of churches and tombs, uh, most of them actually cut into rock. Uh, which illustrate the very peak of Armenian medieval architecture. 
So the complex of the medieval buildings is set into a landscape of great uh, natural beauty uh, that was surrounded by towering cliffs uh, at the entrance of the uh, Azat Valley. So the monuments included in the property are dated from the 4th century to the 13th century. So at the very early period, the monastery was actually called uh, Arivank, which means monastery in the cave, because of its rock cut construction. So this cave is actually, uh, this monastery is actually unique compared to uh, the others that I've actually seen because, you know, everything was actually cut out of a rock. The monastery was founded and built following the adoption of Christianity as a state religion in Armenia in the beginning of 4th century AD. The name Jagat is translated as spear because as the legend says, a spear was kept right here by which Jesus Christ was pierced during the crucifixion. So the first monastery at this place was actually founded in the 4th century uh, but later was destroyed by the Arabs. So we were actually really lucky to be here when the popular female choir group was actually performing. the monastery of Jackard is a must-see, uh, especially when the choir group uh, is performing. Uh, seeing them perform is definitely an unforgettable experience for me. Now about an hour drive later, we arrive at the famous uh, Savan Lake. Uh, it is the largest body of water in both Armenia and the Caucasus region and the second largest alpine lake here in the world after Lake Titicaca in Peru and Bolivia. Now the lake is situated at an altitude of 1900 meters, about 6,000 feet above sea level, and the total surface area of its basin is about 1900 square uh, miles or about 5,000 kilometers, which actually makes up about one-sixth of Armenia's territory. So it's, it's a rather huge lake. So this is where the popular uh, savant trout can be found, uh, one of Armenia's popular uh, fish or diet despite being a landlocked country. There are two churches here making up Savannah Bank Monastery. Uh, the name actually means Lake Savant Monastery, I believe, and both were built in 874 AD. So where I was standing used to be an island, but freaking Soviets built a land to connect for easier access, turning it into a peninsula. Uh, given that you know Armenia is a landlocked country, Lake Savan has the only beaches in the country and is the popular summer getaway for Armenians. So about 30 rivers flow into Lake Savan, which is why it can never be out of fresh water. So this is a magical place to visit on your way to Yerevan, no doubt. Before you know it, uh, we've driven about 180 miles, about 300 kilometers since we left Tbilisi, Georgia, and have officially entered Yerevan, the capital of Armenia. So stay tuned for my next upload on this ancient capital city, as well as eating in Armenia.